Hi loves, today we're going to be making this plantain swallow and I'm going to be telling you guys my honest review. I'm trying it out. So this is my black plantain. Um, it's already washed and now I'm just cutting it. So the deal is that you have to um, cut it and then, you know, make it into small cubes to blend. Depending on your blender, my blender is not bushy mix or any strong blender like that. So I had to like cut it really really small first of all i'm not someone that like gary i don't love eba i don't even eat eba so i look for any alternative to like eat and guys mm, well let's just continue anyways this is me yeah after cutting it i had to like take out the skin because that's what you want to do take out the skin you can Peel your own whichever way. I just felt that this one was way easier for me to do. So, yeah. And this plantain was gotten from the back of my house. Really fresh, yeah. So, this is me cutting it. I had to cut it into cubes so that it would blend. Okay. So, you can do just like this. If you have a stronger blender, yeah, you can do whichever one you want to do. So, this is how tiny I cut this thing. can see so at this thing I really took my time okay so you can do that here so this is on ripe plantain it's not the ripe one I've made this with the ripe one and huh, have you tried the ripe plantain with banga soup guys it is so delicious it's not this boiling method or this method I'm going to do here is the one you boil your plantain and then you pound it it is so delicious it's like one of my favorite so now I'm putting it in my blender and then you add little water so I think I made a little bit of mistake of adding a little too much water in mine, but you can, you know, do whatever you want. So this is how the paste is. You can see it is a little bit um, liquidy, but it's thick, but liquidy as well. Um, if you're making yours, I think you should make it thicker than this, depending on your blender, like I said. And for me, I don't like anything I strong when it comes to swallow my swallow does not have to be strong because I chew I chew a lot <laughs> so it does not have to be strong as you can see it's getting thicker here and if you've made starch before it's just the same process you know you have to keep on stirring so it does not um, have seeds in it just keep on stirring and stirring and that's what I was just doing here Guys, this thing was like starch. I'm not even going to lie. It was like starch. You know, if you're eating, if you're eating starch, you understand what I mean. It was really smooth, and that's what I love. I loved the texture of this um, plantain swallow. So as you're seeing, it is getting thicker. But the truth of the matter was that it was not thick. Okay, it felt. Um, you know, like very soft gary, which I did not mind because I'm someone that, like I said, I don't like anything strong. So it was like, you know, gary. I had to use fork to eat, um, to eat it, to take it. But I noticed that later on, when it was already um, cooling down, it was getting stronger. So this is it after everything. And uh, my mom was even surprised. I finished this whole thing. Guys, I finished it. I even missed if I was surprised. So you can see how it is. And now I'm going to be showing you the texture. And this is the texture. Don't mind the plate. I was using fork to eat. You can see how it is. It was so delicious and so smooth. Will you be trying this out?